Hi everyone, this is Paul Pribish in the Teen Grid and I'm going to show you today how to configure this vending machine, which is a Sloodle vending machine, so that it connects with your Moodle Learning Management website. So let's go to our Moodle website. Here's our Moodle website and um, as you can see I've got a Spanish uh, 101 course loaded here and there are 10 topics in this course and what we're going to do is we're going to connect our Sloodle objects, our Second Life objects to this website. So in order to do this in any Moodle course the first thing you need to do is add a Sloodle controller. Now this tutorial assumes that you already have Sloodle installed on your server and if you don't you can contact me at fire at b3dmultitech.com and I can help you do that. So Sloodle's already been installed so let's add a controller. So I'm going to go down to, I'm going to make sure that uh, turn editing is on. So the turn editing on button is usually up here in the top right but in this Moodle template it's actually here. So I'm going to turn editing on and also you have to be either a teacher or an administrator to actually see this option. So here we go, I clicked it. And now we've got a bunch of little um, buttons beside our activities and resources that allow us to add um, things to our Moodle course. So I'm going to go down to add an activity. A big drop down will come down and I'm going to scroll all the way down until I see something that says Sloodle modules. The first uh, Sloodle module says Sloodle controller. So I'm going to add that to the course. Comes up with a page. I'm going to type in a name for it. New controller. This object is the bridge between your Moodle and your Sloodle tools. Okay, and then I'm going to press save and return to course. Now, the reason why we need a controller is because in Second Life, your tools have to be able to identify which Moodle course they're connecting to. So now that we've got our controller built, let's click on it. When I click on it, I'm going to get a page here that lists all the different Sloodle tools. Now when you click on one of these Sloodle tools, let's click on the vending machine, a bunch of settings are going to come up, configuration settings. And it's going to ask us to select some options here. And I'm just going to press generate note card. Sloodle will then make a bunch of settings that I just copy them all, right click, choose copy. Now I'll go back to Second Life. And what we're going to do is we're going to take all that configuration data, this configuration data, and we're going to put it inside this vending machine so that it can connect to your Moodle. Now the way to do that is to create a note card. So I'm going to create a note card and I'm going to call it Sloodle underscore config and then I'm going to paste by pressing control V or you can go up to edit and go down to paste down here. And now I'm going to save that note card and then what I'll do is I'm going to drag that note card into the vending machine from my inventory. You could also right click and edit and just drag it into the contents as well. So what I'm going to do is I'll just show you one more time. I'm just going to drag it from my inventory into the contents. And when you do that you'll see it says reading configuration note card. And that's all there is to it. So that's how you configure a Sloodle tool. Just to review, let's try it. Let's go take a look. Now remember, you only need one controller per course. You don't need any more. Um, so I'm just going to start from the beginning here. Here we are on our Sloodle course. All I did was I clicked on my controller. I found the tool that I'm trying to configure. In this case, it was a vending machine. I clicked on it. I changed the configuration settings to what I wanted them to be. So here it says select distributor. So I selected the distributor that was available. Um, and there are some other settings here. There's an access level. If I want um, anybody to control the vendor in Second Life, I would just I would put this to public. But we're going to leave it on to um, owner. Then I'm going to press generate note card. And that will generate a whole bunch of configuration settings. So then all I do is I just highlight all these settings. I right click. I choose copy, I go back to Second Life, I generate a Sloodle note card, I paste in all of the settings, I save them, and then I drag them onto my Sloodle tool. And that's all there is to it. 
Okay, well, thanks for watching. I hope that helped you out, and uh, we'll see you in Second Life. Bye for now. This is Fire Centaur signing out.